Welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Recently, I did a video on off-grid weather and mentioned kind of in passing getting weather through an APRS radio. Today, let's explore that a little bit further. Stick around, and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get to today's content, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Okay, so in the other video, I mentioned using an APRS radio to get a current weather report. And this is pretty cool option, uh, provided you're within range of a digipeter, because the weather reports can actually uh, use your current GPS location that's given out by the APRS radio to get a forecast for your specific area. But you can do more than that. You can request forecasts for other parts uh, of the country or of the world as well. Let's take a look at a few ways to do that today. So I'm going to initiate a new message. We're going to send it to WXBOT, and we're simply going to put today in the message body. Let's go ahead and hit the transmit button on that and give it just a second to come back to us. So there's the acknowledgement that the message was received and should just be a couple more seconds until we get the actual weather forecast. And you can see it there on the screen now. So that gives me uh, what's going on today for the area that I am currently located in. Now we could do something else as well. This time, still using my current location, let's go ahead and ask what the weather will be tomorrow. So we'll send that message out. We should get another acknowledgement here in a second, and then we'll receive that weather report uh, a couple of seconds later. It usually takes 5-10 seconds for that report to come back to us. And there you go. Now you saw that that one was actually a two-page report, so you could go back and read uh, individual messages for the entire report. So if we try uh, that one, let's take a look at it. And that tells you that uh, tomorrow we've got a hazardous weather outlook for Tuesday uh, with showers and thunderstorms possible. We can also ask for the weather report maybe uh, later in the week, something like Friday. So we'll go ahead and send that one out. Again, we're going to get the acknowledgement, and then we will get the forecast for Friday. And again, it looks like that's going to be a two-page weather report. There's a second page coming in now. Another option you have for inquiring about the weather is to give it a zip code. Now, maybe you're traveling to an area and you want to see what the weather is out ahead of you. So let's go ahead and transmit that message with the zip code 35630. And in a couple of seconds, we'll know what the weather is in Florence, Alabama. And you can see that they have a hazardous weather outlook today as well. Another way to specify a specific location is using an airport code. BNA is the airport code for Nashville International Airport. So we'll go ahead and send that out, give that a couple of seconds, and we'll get the weather report for the Nashville Airport for today. And again, we have a two-page report. Another way to specify the location is give it an amateur radio call sign. Now, I believe this only works for U.S. and maybe Canadian call signs, but uh, I know KF7VUT is up in Montana, so if we go ahead and transmit out that report, we'll get back the weather report for the <clears throat> uh, location that he has on file with the FCC. So that uses the address that he has on file and uh, goes ahead and does a lookup for the weather in that area. Now, after putting out the off-grid weather video, I had uh, someone leave a comment on the YouTube channel about another service. This one is WXYO, and supposedly it is good for anywhere in the world. 
I'm not exactly sure how he's pulling that off on, on the back end of that, but apparently we can get the weather for anywhere. So let's go ahead and give that a shot by just texting today or messaging today to WXYO. There's the acknowledgement coming back in. And you'll see the weather report roll through as well. Uh, now, for European guys and, uh, well, basically everywhere in the world except for America, the temperature comes back in Celsius. Uh, confuses us Americans really bad. We prefer Fahrenheit. But uh, a good way to get the weather wherever you're located in the world. A really cool feature that he built into this service is the ability to just text 3, 6, and I believe 9 works as well. Uh, and he designed this so if you're working with an HT, you don't have to uh, fumble as much with inputting the letters because it is more difficult on some HTs. Let's go ahead and try sending just the number 3 to WXYO. And there's the uh, weather for the next three hours, or in three hours, rather. So you can see that uh, we can use this service to get the weather as well. And I believe this will take all of the same commands that WXBot takes, in addition to the 3, 6, and 9 hour request. Okay, guys, well, there you have it. There's a few ways that you can request a weather report using an APRS radio. Be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.